Hi. Thank you for watching my video. I am uploading my videos to share with you what impressed me on astrophotography activities. This video is an update of my project to build a tiny observatory equipment using a cheap Newtonian telescope. This time I tried the M104 Sombrero Galaxy from a light-polluted urban site. I previously posted a video capturing M42 using a Newtonian telescope with Raspberry Pi HQ camera from a place full of city lights. The reason is the chromatic aberration separates the focus of blue, green light and far red light. I concluded that a reflective optics might be the solution. In the use case of a UHC filter to remove light pollution. So I got a cheap, toy-like, but well-designed Newtonian telescope. Called Newtony. The Newtony design is suitable or rather ideal for eyepiece observations. The focal plane is inside the draw tube to match the eyepiece focal plane. Use of cameras is considered as well. The cameras to be used with are smartphones only. It will utilize a collimated optical path. It means more optical elements before the sensor inside the smartphone. By the way, there is an attachment in the product package. It will fix the phone with rubber bands. Amazingly simple solution. It might work for other people but not for me. I want to use it with a Raspberry Pi HQ camera. However, the sensor surface will be after the draw tube. So there is no way to get the image out of the Newtony's original design. Well, I could use a set of relay optics to move the focal plane backward. But again it will use more optical elements. Especially lenses. It will be against the concept. So I decided to move the focal plane with a translating primary mirror. It means I have to disassemble the telescope and modify it. I will post another video as a part of the DIY astrophotography series. I got a cheap solution. Although it is not perfect. I am satisfied with the image I got. I will show you later in this video. It has a trade-off though. Because I did not replace the secondary mirror to a larger size. A part of the collected light will be lost for sure. The telescope's F number is 4. The diameter is 50 mm and the focal length is 200 mm. With this modification, the F number will be going up. Meaning that I will get a darker image. I assume that the mirror has a spherical surface rather than a parabolic surface. Based on the price of the telescope, which is $50, it means the light I lose would have spherical aberrations. It would degrade the image quality anyway. I will calculate the optical path later on. I might have to post an excuse. Let's see. This is the screen record of my Raspberry Pi LCD. What you are seeing is the live capture of the Sombrero Galaxy in 8 times faster. I started from Spica. The galaxy should be at the same declination. Okay I got it. The three stars here are pointing at the galaxy. So I change the exposure and then start tracking and stacking. This time I place the object at the center so that I can zoom in to magnify it. I increased the stacking number of frames to 128 this time. Hopefully I get a better image quality. Well, I think it's amazing to get this image from the $50 telescope and $40 camera sensor in 20 minutes. What do you think? I would appreciate if you leave a comment.
Anyway I think it is a better system than the one I previously used. Which utilized a camera lens. The UHC filter suppresses the background level to reasonably low. So I will try M8 this summer with this setting. I will post how it goes. Okay that's it for this time. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.